Hello, long time no see. Um, you may have noticed, but I kind of disappeared for January from here, from my blog, from social, basically from life. Um, and that is because I was on jury service for pretty much the whole of January. Um, I started jury service on the 2nd of January and I was called onto a trial that lasted around about four weeks. So I only finished it like last Wednesday. So I've only been back at work for a week. Um, and you know, I was off work for four weeks. So I was still working at that time. So a lot of evenings I would come home and do like an hour or so of work. I was doing some work in the weekends as well, just to kind of make sure that I'm still, was still up to date with everything, didn't fall behind or anything like that. So, um, and you know, because it was an unexpected four week vacation, not a vacation. <laughs> um, obviously they were expecting me to be away for two weeks at maximum and then it kind of went to four weeks. So it was like, yeah, I still need to help out here, which is fine. Uh, but it did mean that doing this was kind of the last thing on my mind. Weekends were spent either working or catching up on sleep and yeah, that's basically why you haven't seen me for about a month. But I am back, things are going to be back to normal now, Every new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, because I was away as well, the giveaways that I started at the end of December, I am extending them, so they will be going on for longer, so I'll link them below, so if you haven't already entered, make sure you do so. It's down below, check them out, enter if you want, it has been extended to, I think, around by the end of Feb, so there's still loads of time to enter, so make sure you do that. But yeah, that's me rambling, explaining where I've been, now let's move on to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing my January hits and misses. So I thought instead of just doing a January uh, like a favourites, like a normal favourites every month, I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit and do hits and misses. So talking about products that I have loved in January, but also products that I haven't gone on with so well that I don't necessarily like. Um, obviously I do try and keep my channel and my blog as positive as possible and talk about the products that I love, I really get on with so that I can recommend them. However, there are also products that I don't like and I do use a lot of products, I buy a lot of products, I try a lot of products and they don't all work out, of course they don't. So I thought instead of doing favourites I do hits and misses and it just kind of balances it out a little bit as well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you do like this kind of style of favourites video make sure you hit that thumbs up button just down here or here, I don't know what direction it is going to be in, I'm guessing here. Um, so hit that button there and um, that way I know you like this kind of format. Don't forget to subscribe and without further ado, let's just get started. I'm going to start with the favourites, like my, my hits of January because I feel like, let's start on a positive note. So I'm going to start with a concealer and this is from Bourjois and it is their Radiance Reveal Concealer. Um, if you have watched any of my videos where I've spoken about concealers, you know that I've been using Rimmel Match Perfection under my eyes for a little while. Not because I loved it, but because I hadn't really tried much else. I feel like a concealer is something I haven't really di like dived into. Dived into? I haven't really explored and tested as much as I could. I've kind of stayed to my old faithfuls. That is changing. I've brought a whole load of new concealers recently and I've been trying them out and this is my favourite so far. I am going to be doing a whole blog post on it at some point soon, so wait for that. But this I love under the eyes. Nothing has brightened or covered my dark circles as much as this little piece and I needed it throughout January on Jury Duty because I was tired as hell and this really did just cover everything. It just, it has really nice coverage because it's not too thick that it creases but it's not too light that it doesn't really do anything, you know? It just is like the perfect amount of coverage for under the eyes. It brightens really nicely as well. There is sun directly in my eyes. Um, but I really, really like this. I also really like the packaging. I think it's really slick. But I am obsessed with this little concealer. I think it's great. Long lasting, brightens, everything you kind of want it to do. It does. Um, and I really, really like it. Ow! That's really, really bright. Where is that coming from? Sky, obviously. But yes, anyway, that's my first hit. Really, really like that. I've got a couple of eyeshadow palettes as well, one of which I brought just before Christmas and is a drugstore one and it is the Makeup Revolution Soph eyeshadow palette. Um, so if you don't know who Soph is, Soph is a YouTuber, Soph does nails, um, I'll link her down below if you want to check her out. I love her, I'm a fairly recent subscriber, um, but I really really like her videos, I like her tutorials, I like her makeup, like, I just really like her videos, I, I'm a fan. Um, so when I saw she'd brought out a makeup palette with Makeup Revolution, I really wanted to pick it up. And I went into my super drug, there was one left, and I thought, it's meant to be, and it's only £8. I've never tried anything from Makeup Revolution before, so I thought this would be a good way to kind of test. But anyway, you get a hell of a lot of eyeshadows in here. I think there's 24? 
four times six, yes, there's 24 eyeshadows in here, so you get a fair few, fair few. I would definitely say the mattes are more pigmented than the um, shimmer shades, which is a bit of a first, usually it's the other way around, but I do really, really like it. In particular, there are some shades that I like. This one here, which I believe is called Cup of Tea. I don't know where the sleeve with all the names has gone. Hmm. I don't know, but I think that one's called Cup of Tea. It's basically like the perfect kind of base transition shade for me. And the one just above it here, I do use as a bit of a transition as well. It's really, really nice. Um, Mug Cake, I think this is what this is called. This is like the most pigmented deep dark brown I've ever used. I think I put it on a really fluffy brush like the first time I used it and kind of went in thinking that I'd have to build it up and it was like, no, no, now I have a brown eye. So um, that was really pigmented, really like it. I did buy it for this one here, Pine Tree, which is like this gorgeous kind of deep green. I do really like it. It's not quite as pigmented as I would want it to be when I kind of put it on with a brush. With a finger it's a lot better but it is very buildable and you can kind of gauge how much colour you want from that and it's really nice. They're all really long wearing, they all blend really nicely and I think it's a really nice good value palette uh, that you can get from the drugstore and I think this will suit most people. And the other eyeshadow palette I got for Christmas and it's a bit more expensive and it's one of the MAC um, 9 palettes and this is the Burgundy, Burgundy Times 9. I'm obsessed with this. I love it. Uh, so this was £25 I think they are and I want to pick up more um, but I mean the colours in this are stunning but also just the pigmentation on these is insane like straight away they kind of come out bam done beautiful especially these darker shades so this kind of purpley shade here is really really pretty and you just have to like put your finger in and kind of go around a little bit and you get like, I mean that colour is stunning. You just get maximum pigment. They're really buttery soft, super, super soft. They're some of the super, like the softest eyeshadows I've used. Really blendable, very easy to apply, last really well. I'm obsessed and I want all the other versions of these because I think they're really cute and they're just really, really good quality as well. While we're on eyes, a mascara I have loved. Now this is a teeny tiny little version and I'll be showing this more in a video next week. Um, with like the whole set that I got this in but this is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara as I said this is a little miniature version but I am obsessed I wear it basically every day it's just got like a big bristly type brush of mascara I think I am definitely preferring more kind of bristle mascara ones than like the plastic ones and um, the ones I'm kind of gravitating towards now in my collection are very much like that but I just really like it, I find that it lengthens, it volumizes, it kind of spreads everything out really nicely so it looks more fanned um, it lasts really well, I like it a lot, I really want the full size version and Tarte does have 20% off at the moment so I'm kind of feeling like I need to restrain myself but um, yeah, I really really like that, would highly recommend it from Tarte if you haven't already used it, it's a very nice mascara and then I have a few lip products and unfortunately they are all high end, sorry. So the first one I'm going to talk about is from Estee Lauder and it's from the set that I spoke about with the brow and this is one of their Pure Colour Envy Sculpting Lipsticks and it's in the shade Irresistible and this is just a stunning kind of nude everyday shade for me that I love so I'm just going to put this here. So it's very much like a pinky movie shade which is right on my street, it's like everything I like and it's a good kind of neutral shade for this time of year when it's a little bit colder you still want things to be maybe a little bit darker but um i like it a lot it lasts well for a like for something that isn't matte or satin or anything like that um it just kind of settles very nicely there is transfer and it's not the longest lasting but i love the color i love the formula um, and i really really like that and then the two i've been obsessed with and basically wearing in rotation are two mac lipsticks and i blame jury service for these because one of the girls I was serving with on jury duty, she wore one of these, which is actually the one I'm wearing now, she wore this most days, and I got towards the end and I was like, I just need that lip colour, I need it, it's, every time she wore it, I was like, I want it, I want it, so I got it. So I'm going to talk about the one I'm wearing right now, which is a very un-me shade, because I think it's a bit more brownie toned than what I usually go for, but this is one of their satin ones, they're both satin actually, and this one is retro, so it's just a kind of a deep red brownie shade. Uh, let's put this here. I mean, you can see it on my lips, but look how stunning that is. I'm obsessed with it. I really like it. I've been wearing it a hell of a lot. Like I said, it's not usually something that I would have picked up or gone for, and I don't think it's something I would have even looked at. 
but because I saw it on this guy that I was serving with and I just thought it was so nice, so I was like, I want it, I want it in my life. Um, and I really, really like it, and it's like the perfect red for this time of year, and I think it will really suit warm tones as well because it's got that brown in it, so it kind of warms it up a little bit. So this is definitely a red, like a deep berry red that warmer tone skin types can get on with because I think it will suit them a lot better than some of the other ones I have that are more purpley berry toned. Um, but I really, really like this. And then the other shade I picked up was Captive, um, which is just this really, uh, oh, this is just stunning, really deep purpley mauvey berry shade. It's gorgeous unlike anything else I have in my entire collection. And again, I've been obsessed with this and I think I've probably worn this more than retro because it's more what I would normally wear, I think. I normally would normally wear, I think, but I really, really like this. It's so nice. It's a satin one as well. And I'd say I, just from these two, satin is probably now my favourite finish of the MAC lipsticks. They last really, really well. Like, they, I mean, I would put it on before I'd go to jury service, I'd get all the way through to lunch, and I'd be drinking throughout that, and it would transfer onto a cup. I mean, it's a satin lipstick, it's probably going to transfer. Um, but... I found that when I was eating it was still mostly there and I would only have to top it up a little bit at lunch and then maybe again when I got home so it's it lasts a good sort of four or five hours without needing topping up so the formula of these is really really nice the two shades I have are stunning I love them would highly recommend them where's the light gone now there we go so um yeah captive and retro definitely probably my favorite favorites this month okay so let's move on to the misses and I have four and the first one is a drugstore one and this is one of the concealers that I said I've been trying out and everything like that I'm not going to beat around the bush on this one I think it's awful and I don't want to think it's awful but I do just think it's awful and it is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Lightweight Medium Coverage Concealer first of all it is not medium coverage it is very very lightweight it is so thin and so I want to say watery, but I don't think it's the right way. It's just a very, very thin consistency, so it doesn't actually do anything, but it still manages to crease, which I don't understand. But that's what it is. And also, I really do not like the applicator. It's a sponge one, so I think they're probably going for the same sort of thing as the Maybelline Eye Eraser. But the difference with this is that there's like a little hole in the top, so as soon as you squeeze that product, it like comes out. It doesn't just go on the sponge. So what you have to do is kind of squeeze it out onto your hand or straight onto your face, which I don't really like doing. So squeeze it out onto your hand, put it on like the applicator and then put it in. But I just find that the applicator moves it around more than blends it. So yeah, I'm not a fan. I mean, it says the, the cushion applicator allows for perfect blendability and touch-ups on the go. No, like I, I'm just not a fan of this at all. Um, so I would not recommend this. I would not pick it up. Um, sorry, Rimmel. Sorry, but I just really don't like it. I just didn't get on with it at all. And then another drugstore product that I really didn't get on with and I really don't like is the Maybelline Master Holographic. I think this is their Prismatic Highlighter. Now, I picked this up because so many people have raved about the Master Chrome. And when I was looking at it, I just thought it was too, too gold and too dark for me personally. And I saw this and I thought, oh, this would be good to try instead. Um, no. Just no. It is... The most crumbly, talky highlighter. Like, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's just like crumbly bits all over my finger. And like, if I swatch it here, there's just like a load of crumbly bits. There's just not, I mean, it looks really pretty there, but it just all crumbles off as soon as you blend it in. It kind of disappears into just glitter. So that's the other thing I don't like about it. It is basically just glitter. So unless you want to look like a 13 year old going to their first disco, then I would probably stay away from this. If you like glittery highlighters, you might like it, but for me it was the formula, it was the colour, it was the glitter content, it was just everything about this I didn't really rate so much. And then the third miss I'm talking about this month is again from the Estee Lauder kind of set that I got, and it is their um, Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiply Volume Mascara. I feel like I tried this before and thought it was okay it's okay this is the thing it's okay I have others that I much much prefer that kind of do more and I feel like for how much you would pay for this I'm not 100% sure how much it is because it was obviously in a gift set but I can't imagine it's cheap as Estee Lauder 
it doesn't do that much. It doesn't multiply your lashes, it doesn't really give volume. For me, it just doesn't really do anything. I think it could be a good no makeup makeup day mascara. So when you want to look very, very natural, but you still want subtle, like a little bit of definition on the lashes, then this is quite good for that. But if you want a day where, you know, you want people to look at your lashes, or just actually you want your lashes to look amazing, or good, then I wouldn't necessarily go for this. And then last, the last hit is from Real Techniques, which I'm kind of sad about because I do love Real Techniques. Um, but it's the little sculpting sponge. I just don't get how to use it. And I think this could be user error more than the product itself because I love their sort of normal complexion sponge, but I just, I don't get it. I mean, it's got the little sculpty bits and what have you, but for me, I still use the, the orange one to kind of do my, if I've got more like liquidy products or anything blended, I use that for bronze and highlight and stuff. I don't, I've tried this and I just don't get it, to be honest. I just don't get how to use it. I've watched the videos and I'm just not falling in love with it, to be quite honest. So for me, that is a bit of a miss, unfortunately. And that is everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked this new kind of hit and miss format of favourites as opposed to just favourites. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. As I said, I'm still running those two giveaways, so the links for those will be down there. Please make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you enter and you need to be subscribed to enter, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I will be back next Tuesday where I'll be talking about that Tarte mascara a little bit more. Um, but yeah, thank you for being so patient and for sticking around over the past month. And I will see you guys all again next Tuesday. Bye.